This is the tutorial for search for sale using the new search on the Commercial Brokers Association website www.commercialmls.com. So we have the new search function here in front of us. The parameters are on the left. The map is in the center and then once we have a few less than 11,000 results, our results will appear at a pick list on the right hand side. So there are a few things to know about this particular setup. First is that the map acts as a parameter. We can zoom in using a double click or using the plus and minus keys. The parameters that are available on the left hand side are the default parameters. They're also the most commonly used parameters. They are listing type for sale and for lease, asset class, and then listing status as all active. This includes pending listings as they are considered to still be active listings. There are other commonly used parameters available for you here. And then using the gray bars in the lower left hand corner, we can make other selections. For instance, under the area location bar, we have the option of also using market areas in lieu of using the map. When you click on a market area, that market area is shaded in on the website, giving you an idea of that market area's physical location. Regardless of how you zoom in or zoom out on the map, the system will always search within that larger market area. We can deselect market areas using the checkbox and finally click on the white space at any time to exit that selection. But we'll stay with these basic default items here. You can add or remove parameters as you need to. Every search is a little different. Under listing type, we are searching for sale, so we will deselect for lease. And then for the purposes of our search, we'll select one asset class. So we'll click the all selected, which shows all the default items selected uncheck, select all, and then check the item to which we're interested. And you'll notice that as I'm making changes to the left, the number of results here at the top is also changing. As I move the map around, or I zoom the map in and out, the number of results also changes to match the parameters that I've given on the left and the physical parameter that I've given the system by using the map. Pending listings are still active listings. You can select and deselect market areas in the search fields instead of the map. After setting the desired parameters, you can move the map to different areas to view the listing results in that area. You can always search multiple asset classes together. We've chosen to use just one asset class. You'll also notice that there are icons on the map. Each icon represents a building or a property. And there's a map key in the lower right hand corner to help you decipher the colors and letters associated with each one of these particular icons. If you need to use the map key at any time, just click map key in the lower right hand corner and it will appear for you. When you're done, click closed. You can click on the icon to see the thumbnail of a listing. For instance, this retail listing I can click on and see a rough thumbnail of that particular item. It shows me the picture, the status, the square footage.
to exit out of this, I would click the X. I can also select a full listing either by clicking the listing from the pick list on the right hand side, as you see here, and click back to map to exit that, or by using the icons, and then click anywhere that's in blue in order to view the full listing. The full listing that you see when you click an icon and then the title of the property is the same as if you click from the pick list on the right hand side. The information is identical. The full listing here on the SEBA page gives you all the information that's been provided by the listing broker, including their associated files. These are items that they've uploaded to that listing. And in the case of properties that have been listed multiple times on SIBA, you can see the sale and also the lease history if you've selected both for sale and for lease. You have the option of creating a report for any single item by using the report button at the top of that full listing. You may also email that single listing. If you'd like to build a report, you can do so from this particular format. You can use the icons and then the remove listing option there to remove a listing from your report. You can also use the red circle with an X to remove a property from your active report. If you happen to remove an item in error, you can always click the plus button in order to add that particular report or that particular property back into your report. Finally, once you have a good list of properties here that you're interested in sharing or keeping on file, you can use the Create Report button to create one of the different report styles within the SEBA system. We'll cover more about reports in a subsequent video. You can report or email listings. You can create a report from multiple listings from the main map page. Bonus tips. Taking advantage of the live chat support, our customer support tool is critical for new brokers and admins. Chats from live support can be emailed to other people. When filling in the search fields, less is better, you can search for listings by office name. Remember that when you are searching, we're always here to help you. You're welcome to call the office with your questions at 425-820-3348. You can email the listing and research department using the Contact Us button at the top of the page, or you can contact us by chat here in the upper right-hand corner during normal business hours. Normal business hours are Monday through Friday, from 8 to 5.